Yo, Revolt Nation, we back in Studio B. I got a special guest with us today, man. He got a lot of titles, big homie Flocka, Flocka Veli. I like to call him the international Waka Flocka. We got him right here right now. How you feeling, man? How you feeling, man? Shit, amazing, like a breath of new air or some shit. Dude, I'm a big fan, and long story short, I seen you come from the strip clubs to doing big EDM tours with uh, Grammy-nominated Steve Aoki, man. How does it feel? Honestly, like oh, just as an artist. Like, man, I didn't know Steve was Grammy nominated. Like, yeah, he Grammy nominated. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know. I feel like with Steve is regular. Like I don't see Steve as the man that accomplished X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. He's like a regular guy to me. He's like to turn up, throw kicks at people. I know that's the only person that let me throw a kick at somebody and they was happy about it. I, I mess with him. I mean, what have you learned since, you know, you're still relatively a new artist. What have uh, you learned since, you know, hard in the paint days to now? Boy. <laughs> If I knew what I knew now, boy, I'd be on Forbes right there. Nah, I feel like, like, like hard in the paint days, like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know the power of my, my voice. I ain't know that certain words would travel so many miles. Like, it's true. I ain't know about catching marketing schemes. I ain't know about investors, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't know a lot of things. But right now, I know it all. I mean, you're on a big EDM tour right now. There's Linkin Park, there's Iggy Azalea, there's other names. How does it feel, man? Because, I mean, we was talking behind the scenes. You said you don't really even like hip hop that much now. Nah, it's boring. I feel like hip hop to me is too competitive. You know what I'm saying? It's like a boxing match. It's like an everlasting boxing match. Like Explain that. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. It ain't, it ain't friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we all rap, but we all just, I, I can't even explain this. I'm even the talking type. If I see stuff like that, I go left. You go left? Because it ain't right. You know what I'm talking about? So you no. feel like you, is it too many politics? Like, what is it? It's too much. It's too much. It's too, it's too, it's too much. There's too many new artists act like bosses. Like, they don't mm. put in the work. I could have easily got anybody feature I ever wanted. But as me as a new artist, I always felt like I gotta work for it. Like, I gotta work for like a Pharrell beat, or yeah. a Timbaland beat, a Dre beat. I still ain't got a Dre beat. I feel like I ain't sell enough records, or I ain't come enough things to get that. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's steps. Like they gotta put the steps and the morals back in the music. Hip hop. I feel like when they do that, then it'll be back. True, man. You've been touring Japan, you've been touring the whole Europe. What's the difference between touring the States and then touring overseas? Overseas, you know, from, from the States. Overseas, like, they don't even know English. But they know all your words. Yeah, all they the talk words. to you in rap sling. You know what I mean? Like, pow, wow, pow. <laughs> like, wow, we don't talk like that. We'll put you again. Now, for me, it's, it's like, it's love, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's genuine love. It's like real fans over there. Like, they love you for you, your music. But you rather perform over there more or the States? Or you just, it doesn't even matter? It don't matter. It's don't all matter. the same reaction. Like, I never had a crowd that was, like, dead. Like, crickets, ever in my life. Never, dope, I never man. had crickets. That's super dope. Now, what's coming up next? It's what's been a while. Next? I know you put uh, out a couple projects, but what's next? What's next right now? I got Flock Valley 2 about to drop top of the year. I got a label Brick Squad Monopoly. I named my company Brick Squad. Brick Squad! Come on, man. We got to go hard. I named the Brick Squad Monopoly because I want to build my foundation brick by brick and monopolize the game. True. I got an app coming out, Wackerville, drop on the 19th of November. Uh, I got another. Um, Tell me about the app, though. What's that? It's like an apocalypse. It's like zombies, like killing zombies, butcher knives, bazookas. You know what I mean? It's some nerd, some gangster nerd type stuff. Okay, like a man. real game. You real know game? Yeah, real one. Okay, just real quick, man. Um, you from originally from New York? Jamaica Queens, yeah. Grew up in Atlanta. How do you feel about the Trinidad's James situation? Just speaking on New York, he real quick. Trinidad, he disrespectful. He disrespectful. Oh See, man. See that, that? That's when I say like media training is real for some people. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, homie, you don't do that. Like, yeah. That ain't music, you know, that, that that ain't cool, my G. Like, now when you walk in New York, you gotta have a helmet on, literally. Mm -hmm. You don't know who gonna throw rocks and bricks and bottles at you, that's New York City. Like, sometimes I feel like it, it, it probably ain't his fault, you know what I'm saying? He probably overwhelmed with the, with the fame, the liquor, I guess. I don't know, he good though. All right, man, that's what it is, man. We already know you're good out here, man. Waka Flocka Flame. Appreciate you coming to Revolt TV. Like you it. already know you can join the conversation. Twitter, Instagram, at Revolt TV. Hashtag whatever you need it to be because we're everywhere watching Revolt.